Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Alex over at Jack Motorsports. I just wanted to take a second to do an event recap overview on the Formula Drift Round 1 of the Pro Spec Series or Lando. Um, Wednesday, we came in, uh, got checked in, all my guys got hard cards, and it was also the first time that we have to do the tech uh, for the car. Luckily, the car passed with flying colors. Uh, we were in and out, it was super easy breeze. I don't even think we were there five minutes. Kevin's awesome, so just follow the rule book and you'll be getting through just fine. Um, but then we got the car uh, unloaded, un set up in our pits. We got the tent up. Uh, we did a full bolt check, just kind of got everything ready, got some tires mounted, and was ready and prepared for Thursday. Thursday uh, was two big things. It was uh, our full amount of practice as well as qualifying. Um, so we had about four hours of practice, which was amazing. Uh, we actually got the most practice laps we've ever received at any Formula Drift round before. So that was very, very comforting. Uh, we got the car dialed in just how we wanted it to be, and the car was ripping. We were ready for battle. It was awesome. going into qualifying um, the, the structure of the schedule has changed this year from last year to where qualifying is later at night and so we did all of our practice during the day it was very hot in Orlando it was very sweaty <laughs> but uh, going into qualifying the sun had set uh, and it was it was nighttime the uh, the track conditions had changed drastically and we were not prepared for them uh, when the track uh, got cooler uh, it made the track more grippier. Um, I know that sounds contradictory, but nevertheless, uh, I was having a lot of trouble getting it up on the bank and maintaining uh, the, the line and angle that I want to have. Scott qualifying, remember FCP Euro contingency. $1,000 purse for uh, first, second, and third highest finishing Europeans and 10 grand cash overall. Well, unfortunately, Rick Leiter, not a European car, but he's gonna try to go for it. The NSC. Vehicle coming down into that first inside clip. Very tight there. So contrary to what we just saw with Canapic, ooh, just what I was gonna say, nailing those inside clips. Well, nailed it literally, not uh, precisely. As Look Lighter brings it across the finish line. So our qualifying score, we got a total of a 63. Uh, nothing to really brag about. However, um, all my peers seem to have the same issue uh, where they were all gripped up and um, that 63 score actually kind of got us in the middle of the pack. Uh, I think we were at like a 20th, I think we qualified at 20th or 21st um, out of all the 38 drivers. So going into top 32, uh, we were feeling pretty comfortable. We would have liked to have been higher, obviously, but we did all right. Um, so Friday is typically the competition day, but this year it's just top 32 to 16. It ends at the 16, and then 16 carries over into Saturday for the big show. Um, Friday we had a couple hours of practice again. Uh, once again, the car was just dialed in, and we were killing it. We actually were starting to run out of tires because of uh, how many practice laps we got, so we actually had to kind of dial back a little bit. Um, but once again, the car was, was perfectly set up. then was over and we went into um, the top 32 battle. We knew we had to battle against our good drift buddy uh, Brian Wadman. We've drifted many times at uh, different competitions and, and grassroots things so uh, we were very excited to battle a, a, a friend because um, that takes a, the, the stress off a little bit more when you always get to battle one of your buddies. So, But prior to the battle starting it had started to rain and it really had 
hadn't trained too much uh, at this event, so we didn't have a lot of like wet practice. Um, so Formula Drift gave us a sight lap to be able to just kind of go out there and feel it out. Um, so motions were starting to set in just a little bit because the car was so out and it was doing so great in the dry. Now everything changed for uh, when we had to perform at our peak. So uh, we go out there and do a sight lap. Unfortunately, Brian spins in the middle of the track and I had to shut it down to, you know, obviously be safe and, and not want to get any, anywhere near close to hitting him. Uh, so the sight lap was kind of washed out for both of us. We didn't really get a, a really good sight lap to be able to uh, anticipate the conditions. Um, and then as far as the comp, when in, Brian Wadman uh, led and I chased and I was just completely struggling uh, throughout my chase. I, the car was definitely not set up for the rain and uh, the initiation had to be different. Uh, I couldn't left foot brake anywhere. Like I, there's all these things I'm discovering in the moment of battle and I'm like, ah, this is so bad. <laughs> so uh, we get to back to the start line, we switch positions. I'm now in the lead, he's in the chase. And it didn't take long for me to be able to determine what I had to do. In, uh, in order to, to do a good run, and I, I did. I did a decent uh, lead, lead lap. Yeah. There, like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, bro. Here we go. So Wadman got a little kickstart in my heart as Alex Lickliner. And Wadman needed a push. A little bump start for the Wadman. Both these guys, you can see Lickliner lacking the angle. Wadman <sighs> going up, going down, and Lickliner having a difficult time. And Wadman transitions through a little bit of straightening there over the jump. Wadman now into that second outer zone. It's really hard to see just kind of both the cars at the same time there. Yeah, they are all over the place, man. Looking, looking like hieroglyphics. Definitely. Going this way, going that way. Your hand signals right now are entrancing. It's pretty, it's pretty yeah. Great. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. Uh, I'll just leave, yeah, leave, yeah. I'll leave it right there. It's all right. Yeah. Yeah, it was a uh, belly dancing for for you. Got a lot of belly, so that's, that's all I can do. All right, so Wadman now pulling back up to the line. You can see him lick lighter will now lead. If you re if yeah, the pressure is on for a good lead. Lick lighter, if he has a clean lead, I think he might take an advantage. But uh, I think Wadman, both these guys. Just. F So here we go, Licklider, Wadman. So here goes Licklider out front. The NST never stops tuning. So, oh, Wadman drops down way low. And look, Licklider rises to the occasion, not so high on the bank, but, but well done up to the first inside clip, the second inside clip. And Licklider looks like he is putting together a decent lead run. Nothing to, to write home about, but still puts it together. Um, we were looking for our first win here in, in FD in the, in the top 32, going into top 16, but uh, there's always New Jersey next, it's in next week now? Yeah, it comes up quick, so um, we'll be better prepared and ready for that and uh, anticipate some changes for the rain if it starts to get wet. But thank you guys for tuning in. This is the official uh, event recap for Orlando, and, and I'll be sure to do another one for New Jersey. All right, see ya.